Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lightstain Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what Thursday means. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and recently it's been a little bit more surprising. We're not sure if we're going to get a bug fix or we're going to get some new features, and this one is a little bit of a combination of them both. Now, standing here, or lying down on the floor, you could say, right in front of my character is a backpack. Now these backpacks are used to replace your body when you die. Now your ragdoll little form stays for a little bit of time and then to save on own performance it disappears and it drops a little bit of a backpack like this. So if I pop back into my body you can actually see it's an accessible item just like a cargo container and inside there we can see we've got the backpack, we've got some of the tools that I had on my body before I died and we could also retrieve plates and we could just simply transfer them back into our inventory. So it's very simple and it's a little bit of a performance enhancer. especially when you've got bodies and corpses cartwheeling all over your base it seriously affects the performance of the game but very simple one of the downsides to this though I have noticed is that I died as a red astronaut and the backpack is of a grey astronaut but it, not a really big deal still very cool so in front of me are two very troubling blocks. Right from their introduction, they've been responsible for destroying many of my ships and probably a lot of yours as well. Now, it was quite interesting in this update, they've actually done some tweaks and adjustments to make them a bit more stable. And the most sort of noticeable one is that if you go over 100 meters a second, the pistons or the rotors will lock into place so they can't go absolutely crazy, spaz out and destroy everything in the radius, including your ship. Now, another cool thing while we're looking at my hydrogen ship is that the volume of the hydro containers on the actual large and small ships has been increased so you can store more hydrogen in them allowing you to burn them rockets for longer very cool now let's actually put them pistons to the test now before when i was doing some testing i had mixed results sometimes it just wasn't locking in place and then other times it did so with them actually accelerate up you can see our speed's increasing 105 so at this speed we shouldn't see any retraction or movement but you can see there actually is retraction and apparently to the update this shouldn't happen we shouldn't be able to do this if we're over 100 meters a second so if we actually back our power off below 100 meters a second now we should be able to do it but if I accelerate up and I'm trying to move these blocks, you can see I can just move them fine. So it's clearly something's not working too well with this update at the moment. Something they might have to patch. And even more concerning with the pistons of this update is if you notice, I can actually move the top and bottom of them off. You can see them wiggling off the actual top. And I believe that what this was supposed to be fixing. And if I turn too violently, these pistons will actually snap off and break my ship. So you can see I'll, I'll wiggle forward, wiggle back. And there we go, one of the pistons has just snapped off already. So they're not that safe and I don't trust them yet. I don't think I'll trust the pistons or the rotors for quite some time. But we can see we have got a little bit of improvement in performance because before these things would have snapped off way before that point as well. Anyway, let's move on and take a look at the spiders. Now, I shouldn't really call them spiders because I believe they've only got six legs. And if this Halloween teaser doesn't remind you of anything like Starship Troopers, I can just imagine one of them brain bugs rolling out into another catacomb and sucking this engineer's brain out. Well, apart from that, these creepy crawlies really add a much scarier atmosphere to exploring these dark caverns. You can see one jumps out from him behind here, striking him. We don't know if he's in creative mode or what sort of damage that these creatures will do to you. Will they poison you, infect you or something? Who knows? And he continues running from them, dodging them as they go. Now, Sage explored some of the animations that he found, and he found that one of them actually burrowed from under the ground to sort of surprise attack. And it showed you some of the different attacks they've got as well. They've got like a little bit of a stinger located in the tail. So we don't know what these creatures are going to be like. So as the engineer reaches the edge of the tunnel, he sees a few more spiders and a massive horde of them come together to attack him. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.